This is Doug from MerchMetrics.com, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sign up for a new Redbubble account so you can start selling your own artwork. There's a couple of things that you should consider before just signing up, and number one is you want to make sure when you sign up for your new account, you use an email address that you're not going to lose access to. So, for example, don't use your school email address, don't use your work email address if you might move on in the future and then no longer have access to that if you need to recover your account. Um, it might be a good idea to sign up for a new Gmail address, email address, and make sure that you verify that with your mobile phone number so that if you ever need to recover that, you can. Um, you need to also decide if you want to make your store on Redbubble a general store or a niche store. And what I mean by that is, are you going to sell products in many different categories? Are you going to just do whatever you think might sell? Or are you going to spe um, specialize and only create products in one niche? Um, that will that could affect what you want to name your store um, and the kind of artwork we'll want to be creating here in the future in uh, future videos when we customize our store and then also sort of along the same lines the name of your account which will be visible to customers you want to make sure that you pick something that is going to be um, professional and something that is going to reflect the, the type of store that you want to have, whether it be general or niche. Or if you're building a brand or if you're just trying to sell products without, you know, really building one brand. All right, so in order to sign up on Redbubble, all we need to do is click the Sell Your Art button. And this will give us a quick overview of how the platform works. If you want to watch this video, go right ahead. Um, but you can just click this red button, get started, it's free. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is come up with an email address, like I said, a username and a password. And I'm gonna use, it's gonna pop up my other email addresses here as soon as I click into the box. Um, but I'm gonna use an email address I've never used before on Redbubble. And then I'm gonna pick a username. So we'll just use my name and then we'll go ahead and I will hide this from everyone so you don't get to see my secure password. All right, we'll sign up. Once you sign up, the next thing that's gonna happen is while you will be logged into Redbubble, you'll also have an email sent to your email that you just used to sign up to verify. So we'll need to go now into our email account and verify that. I'm gonna go ahead and log in on my second monitor and I will quickly click the link to verify. All right, I'm now inside of my Redbubble account and I looked in my email and I did not receive my email confirmation. So the first thing I had to do was go up to the avatar, click on account details, which will bring up this screen and then click on edit payment details, which then um, presented me with the option to resend my email confirmation. When I resent it, I did receive the email confirmation. So um, you can see here that I now have received the email confirmation. I can click here. It will verify my email address. My email address is now verified. So we can close that second window and we can close down your email. You won't need your email anymore. All right. So now that our email address is confirmed, we need to go ahead and fill out our personal information. So I'll go ahead and enter my personal information here. Uh, I will hide from you my address. <laughs> um, coming down to getting paid, you have two options with Redbubble on how you want to be paid. You can either receive an ACH uh, wire transfer basically into your bank account, or you can be paid through PayPal. And now I always use PayPal. I don't necessarily like to um, share my bank account information on the internet. So um, I kind of use PayPal as a stopgap to, um, to, to be a middleman for whenever I need to use uh, payment information online. Um, now here I have the options. You do have to pick your currency you want to be paid in and you have to pick that now and you can never change it. So make sure that you select the correct one. It needs to be in the local currency of wherever you're at most in most cases. If you don't, you may be charged by PayPal or your bank for um, converting your your um, your payments into your local currency, which will cut down on the amount that you make. So definitely make sure you're using the right 
currency, if you have the option to use your local currency, you should probably be doing it. Uh, I'm going to click to verify my PayPal account. Uh, once you do that, you have the option now to, um, to enter your payment details. I will go ahead and do that. Click connect with PayPal, which will then allow you to sign in. Once you sign in, PayPal is going to ask for some confirmation that you allow it. Um, and then you should see now when you scroll down that you now have your email address for your PayPal account listed in the um, payments are going to your blank PayPal account. So now that all of that is set, I can click to save changes. And you can change, even though you can't change your currency in the future, you can change your PayPal information in the future should you need to. All right, and that pretty much wraps up setting up our account. There are some things we can do to customize our account, and we'll do that in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Doug with MerchMetrics.com, and I will see you in the next video.